Did you finally wake up? <laughs> no, no, no. You're not escaping from my embrace. Especially if I... <clears throat> wrap my powerful wings around us. They're the same wings that so effortlessly carried the both of us to my lair. So, <laughs> don't even bother trying to squirm away. Just relax and enjoy our little cuddle cocoon. Yes, I know. I'm a big, scary dragon. But you need to calm your breathing, treasure. I don't want you fainting again. It already cost me a lot of trouble when it came to capture you. You collapsed off your castle balcony and nearly fell to your death before I was able to grab you and fly off. Oh, you tiny, weak treasure. <laughs> what? Eat you? <laughs> oh, why would I eat you? The occasional thief who barges into my lair can be quite the delicacy, but you humans vastly overestimate your nutritional value. It would be a waste of time and energy to fly halfway across the continent just to eat a simple appetizer. No, <laughs> a thing like you is less of an appetizer and more of a dessert. Oh no, <laughs> you need to calm down, treasure. I'm afraid you'll hurt your heart with how hard it's pounding. I'm sorry for teasing you, but... I simply can't help it. It's just too much. The smell of the adrenaline coursing through your veins. The thumping and shaking of your chest against my scales. The widening of your eyes and shrinking of your pupils. The desperate flailing of your funing limbs. You are so terrified. And it's just so intoxicating. It makes you seem... So fragile, so delicate, oh, so precious. Just the thought that your adorable reactions are all mine puts a flutter to my chest. Oh, they're mine, 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 mine. <laughs> you don't need to be frightened, little treasure. I know you're scared of me, but I'm not going to hurt you. Quite the opposite, actually. I'm going to guard you and protect you with my life. You are now the crown jewel of my collection. Out of all the gold and gems and enchanted items I have hoarded, you are going to sit on the very top as my most valuable prize. You won't have to worry about anything. I'll feed you, groom you, dress you up. You'll live better than an emperor. And all you'll have to do is stay here and look pretty. Oh, doesn't that sound nice? Why would I do that? <laughs> My treasure. I'm not sure why you're so confused. Don't you humans take possessions of lesser beings all the time? I've seen you regularly keep your dogs and cats and birds for entertainment and for wealth display. Hmm, what's that word you humans use? That's it. You are going to be my pet. My precious, exotic trophy pet. A beautiful royal child of a dignified bloodline for my horde. You are worth so much. You are going to be used to secure an alliance between powerful rivals, sold away as a partner to a duke in exchange for military support. <laughs> You're worth armies of tens of thousands of men. Your hand in marriage could create years of war and carnage, or years of peace and prosperity. <sighs> and I can feel all of that when I hold you. 
The sheer influence and value you hold. Uh, the fate of hundreds of thousands of lives condensed into a single person. I can smell it. <laughs> and the idea that someone else got to control that fate, I couldn't stand it. Something so valuable should have been mine. It is mine. It's all mine. <laughs> oh, hey, you don't have to cry. Shh, you're okay. You're fine. You don't have anything to worry about. Mm hmm? No, you misunderstand, Treasure. I didn't acquire you only because you were going to be used for a treaty. I know you possess value outside of that. There's a dozen important marriages every year. But I don't have a dozen of brides and grooms in my horde now, do I? No. You're... Special. Ah, I've got your attention now, haven't I? Your tears have stopped. Yes, a great dragon just called you special. I wonder if anyone has called you that before. You are the fifth living child of your parents, aren't you? Surely you have seen all the attention given to your older siblings, with only the crumbs landing on you from time to time. You're viewed by your family as a simple spare, or in your case, a bargaining chip. But I don't see you like that. I never have. You see, I'm no stranger. You've probably heard stories about me all your life. I used to live close to the seaside castle of your cousin. It was only a few seasons ago that I finally decided to move somewhere quieter. I saw you on your yearly visits as you grew older and grew pretty. An exquisite duel of a royal, neglected of its proper acknowledgments by its caretakers. So beautiful, so precious. Even back then, you drove me mad. I wanted to own you, to add you to my collection. But I controlled myself. Humans hold grudges for generations if you touch the royals. But when I heard the whispers that you were going to be married off for an important treaty, and be that much more valuable and precious, I simply snapped. I flew all the way back to your kingdom and waited for the perfect time to capture you. I even left my horde undefended for days while I waited, with only a boulder hiding the entrance. That's how much you're worth to me. And all of that worth is mine now. <laughs> oh, mine, mine. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, Treasure. I know I keep scaring you with my roars, but I'm not going to hurt you, I promise. I just get possessive over my treasures, that's all. Look, if I unwrap you and I'll flip you around, you can see my hoard, can't you? Observe that everything has been kept sparkling and is in its prime condition. You are going to be treated the same. Not a single claw will pierce your skin. You're my treasure now, and I take good care of my treasures. Nothing will harm you again. I think my precious treasure is getting sleepy. It's been quite an exciting day for you, hasn't it? Well, I'm sleepy too. After all, I'm the one who had to fly us both to my lair. And I couldn't fly straight here either. I had to take the long meandering path to make sure that no one could drag us. It was exhausting. But it was more than worth it because you're mine now. And when I wrap my wings around us like this, nothing can possibly get to you. You're safe and warm and snug and completely hidden from the cruel, tarnished world. Only I can see you and hear you and feel you, just as it should be. So, 
just to sleep, my treasure. I have a very good nose and good ears. I'll wake up if there's any trouble and destroy the threat before you've even stirred from your slumber. Nothing will find you and take you from me. And if they try, I'll tear them limb from limb. <laughs> My treasure. <laughs> Mine. 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 And when I go out for my trips, you can even still keep in touch with me. I have this YouTube channel. It's a bit of a thing for the future, but you should subscribe. You're my treasure now. It is to be expected. That channel you can find down in the description. Go there. You can also subscribe to this channel. It will keep you entertained. You humans are so simple. And with all this treasure around, you might as well throw a few coins onto the Patreon. That is also in the description. Anyway, you should really sleep. Teresia, I'm home. And that brought gifts. Come out to see your owner like a good pet. Don't drag your feet. I love seeing my precious treasure. Oh, there you are, my beauty. Oh, I can never get over gazing upon you. Don't pout. I know you're still upset about that chain, but I can't have you trying to escape again. You're part of my horde now, and I want nothing stealing you away. Not some adventurer, or some other dragon, or even you. Yeah, escaping would be stealing yourself away from me, and well... You saw what happened to the last person who tried to steal from me, didn't you? <laughs> That's what I thought. Now, back to that chain. I have something that will make you much more comfortable. I found you... This! A new collar. Isn't it beautiful? I overheard the previous owner talking about it and I sounded it so wonderful that I just had to take it. It's gold-plated, which may sound cheap, but the metal underneath is far more expensive than gold. It's made of a special alloy that was mixed by dwarves, enchanted by elves, and forged by orcs in a furnace lit by a dragon's breath. That makes it extremely rare. This color is the largest collection of it in the world. It's light as a feather, but so strong that nothing but the same material can crack it. Even I couldn't break it. And of course, it's decorated with gold and encrusted with beautiful cut sparkling gems. The enchantment of the elf should extend these decorations so none of them will wear down. And as you can see here, the inside is also lined with soft fur. Unicorn fur. So it should be far more comfortable than that rusty iron ring around your neck. Oh, I can see the irritated rashes you're getting from only a few days of wearing it. And it breaks my heart to see blemishes on something so precious. So let's get this iron ring off you and get your new collar on. Let's see... There. Oh, pet. You look so precious with your new collar on. Oh, the two crown jewels of my heart linked together. It's so perfect. It's a good thing too, because I put some extra draconic enchantments on it. That collar binded itself to you as soon as it last closed. Not even a teleportation spell could get rid of it. So you're marked as my treasure forever. <laughs> and I also bound the collar to this cave, so it can never leave. And you by extension. It's a difficult enchantment and nearly impossible to reverse in case we ever want to move. But it's well worth it to keep you mine. 
Oh, it also means that you don't need that pesky chain anymore. Isn't that just good news? Uh, now I might have spoiled you by giving you the color first, but I do have some other gifts. Like there is a deck of cards that I took from some duke. They're made of silver and have beautiful artwork laced on both sides. To be honest, it's a tad poorer than the items I usually hoard. But you keep complaining of boredom, so I snatched them anyways. I can't exactly play anything with you and my big claws, but I'm sure you'll find some game to amuse yourself with. I've also got you some more fancy day clothes. Hopefully they'll fit better than the last batch I brought you. They were tailored for a royal who looked to be about the same size and proportions as you, so I'm hopeful. And while I was there, I also grabbed you some silk night robes, since you always get too warm when we snuggle during the night. The rest of the items in this bag aren't for you. Just some gems and coins and a famous monarch's crown. <sighs> oh god, I'm exhausted after all that scavenging. So now might be a good time to test out those new silk pajamas of yours. <sighs> Come to bed with me. You know I like to hold my treasures as I sleep. No, you're not sleeping on the ground. Stop being a child and just come here. Oh god, why do you do this to me? You complained about how uncomfortable sleeping on the hoard with me was and demanded a bet. I went through all the troubles and collected dozens of mattresses and pillows and blankets just to make us a comfortable, dignified nest. And now you refuse to sleep on it? Do you just despise me that much that you'd rather sleep on the cold hard floor than be close to me? Well, if you won't come willingly, I'll just drag you to bed. <sighs> Was that so hard? Is it really so bad for me to wrap my limbs around you as my wing cocoon us together? Am I really not allowed to love my dear pet? I know you hate me. You don't say so, but I can feel it in the way you shiver when I wrap around you like this. I watch you stare into the distance some days, and I just see it on your face. That you're imagining me dying a horrible, painful death at the hands of some knight or magician or other pathetic mortal. But I just don't understand why you're not happy. I don't neglect your needs. I give you privileges, I allow no other mortal. You're the only one to not just gaze upon my hoard. But to feel it and, and clean it and be a part of it. I adore you with the jewels, the gold and the silk and so many other exotic things. Why are you so unhappy? What am I doing wrong? You're lonely? But if you're lonely, then why do you refuse to cuddle with me? Wouldn't that make you feel better? You miss your home and family. <sighs> no, my treasure. This is your home. And I am your family. You have nothing to miss about that boring castle you lived in and the simple life you used to live. All of those humans out there are nothing compared to me and my treasure. You should be joyful that I saved you from them. <sighs> You're exhausting. But I suppose you need some time to forget. Luckily, we have plenty of it because you have one last gift for you. I wanted to be close to you when I presented it. In this small pouch is the greatest gift I will ever give you. And I couldn't just take it. No, I had to barter some of my hoard for it. <sighs> that should communicate how important this was for me. You see, you humans have such tiny lifespans. You live and die like mayflies. That's unacceptable. I can't let my most precious possession simply wither away. So I thought of many ways to preserve your beauty forever. And I thought maybe I could turn you into some stone or freeze you as an ice sculpture or put you into a time loop. But I found the perfect solution, and it's one I hope you will agree with. Yeah, do you see what's inside this pouch? 
in that tiny vial is a potion I commissioned from the most talented potion brewer I know of. It will link our life forces together. More specifically, it will give my life to you. Keeping your puny human body healthy will only leash you off an insignificant fraction of my life. Like filling a chalice with water from a great lake. But what's nothing to me will be everything to you. You'll be my precious treasure for as long as I live. Always young and never sick. I was told it'll even link our dreams. So that not even sleep can separate us. Isn't that just wonderful? It'll be just me and you in this cave forever and ever and ever. Now drink up, treasure. Uh, don't struggle. I will not let you die. You have to drink this. Don't you want to live for thousands of years with me? I said drink the potion. You're mine and you'll do as I say. You're my property. And I decide if you live or you die and I say you will live. Insolent brat. Stop whimpering. You did that to me. I'm nothing but patient with you, but that isn't enough for you, is it? You should be praising me in gratitude that I don't snap at you more often. You're rude, ungrateful, and disrevenant, and I let you get away with it. But make no mistake, treasure, I won't be putting up with it in the future. Your newly found draconic life could be paradise, or it could be hell. It makes no difference to me. So, make your decision. Ah, I see you finally succumbed to reason. Yes, snuggle up with me. I like it when my greatest treasure holds on to me. You're such a wonderful pet when you're like this. You put warm, happy tinglies in my stomach. It makes me just want to hold on to you and take a 100 year nap. <sighs> I really do enjoy every moment I spend with you. And I especially enjoy every moment you spend embracing in my claws. One day, you'll feel the same about me. I promise. If it takes a single day or a thousand years, I will manage to make you smile while snuggled up to me. I love my Tracia so much. I would destroy the whole world to keep you mine. You are mine. Mine forever and ever and ever. arguing with you. You know, now that you'll live for such a long time, you'll have plenty of time to watch some of my YouTube videos. Yeah, I know I told you about it before, but I'm just making sure you remembered. You did go on to it, right? I told you it was in the description, as it is now, still. I swear, if I see that you are not subscribed to me... Oh... <laughs> I don't want to go back to fighting you again, so just make sure that doesn't happen. You also did subscribe to this channel, right? If you haven't, I'd hurry up. Then hopefully you'll finally stop complaining about how bored you are. I mean, with my great content, and with this channel's content, and with those cards I gave you, I mean, what more could you ask for? I'd even expect you to show some gratitude back to the Patreon in the description. Go there. I've given you so many gifts, maybe it's time for you to give back, don't you think? Anyway, you can do that now while I sleep. I'm not gonna police you. I trust you. You will do as I say. Because you're mine. Ah, <sighs> mine. I 
nothing on this needs to be moved. So it's between the lair and my horde. I don't want any adventurer to simply be able to grab an item and bolt. No, they should have to try and climb over me to get to my horde. <sighs> you really complicated things with your needs and demands, treasure. But I can work through it. <sighs> I think I'm gonna have to find a new boulder to obstruct the cave entrance. Mm, something that's just as heavy, but slightly smaller. There wasn't enough air exchange last time. I kept waking up. Oh, treasure, do you think I look fat enough? I get cranky when I have to wake up for food before I'm ready, but maybe I should eat another dozen sheep to be safe. Although I am craving some pigs. Hmm? What am I doing? <laughs> I thought it was obvious. I'm preparing for our hibernation. We dragons hibernate regularly. With such large bodies that extend so much energy, we need dedicated time to heal, repair, and grow. Yes, our hibernation. You will be joining me. I can't exactly take care of you while I'm sleeping now, can I? And when I hibernate, I sleep for a very long time. At least a few years, but it could go up to a few decades. So, that means you need to hibernate with me. <sighs> I know it may sound frightening, but you don't have to worry, your little head treasure. I've already thought about everything long before you have. I started our preparation back when I gave you the life linking potion. I made several specific requests when I commissioned it. The most important of which was that we would link our hibernation cycles. <sighs> and that means you'll be sleeping with me. Treasure, your heart is sped up. I can hear it pounding from over here. Did I scare you again? Does this lot of sleeping with me really terrify you so much? Oh, treasure, you don't have to get rid from fear. We sleep together every night, don't we? Hibernation is like that, but just longer and deeper. It's a release of tension, a climax to an extraneous period of activity. Don't you want to experience that with me? Um, it seems I've only made your fear worse. You've really confused me sometimes. I say the most innocent things and your heart starts pounding and you shiver and flush. It seems like every hour you find something new to fear. And it's happening even more frequently now than when I first hoarded you. Surely you should be getting less wary of me over time, shouldn't you? Haven't I proved by now that I will never injure you? Well, at least your newer reactions are better than your old fits. Ah, that's a valid concern. But no, you won't starve while we hibernate. Our link will sustain you through the process. Really, you don't even need to eat as long as I eat enough for you. Hmm, I suppose that technically makes you my parasite. <laughs> anyway, treasure, let me speak as I work. I need to finish the final preparations. I'm almost ready. I just need to cast a few enchantments on my horde and find a sustainable boulder. I admit, I'm not actually due for my hibernation for another few months, but I'd rather start now. Going to sleep sooner gives you less time to complain. But I promise you, this will feel really good. Some dragons even hibernate for hundreds of years just because of how good it feels. And when you wake up, you'll feel even more alive than ever, like you've just been completely reborn. All the little damages your body has accumulated over the years will be completely cleaned up and healed. Imagine the relief of getting in a hot spring. The relaxation of hibernation is tenfold. Alright, there's only one last thing to do. Grab my precious pet and carry them to bed. Come here. 
love holding you. But you seem to be afraid again. Your heart is racing so quickly and you flush so red. I don't know why. I've carried you hundreds of times before. You should know by now that I won't harm you. <sighs> well, you'll calm down eventually. You always do. <sighs> you really are a comfortable pillow. It feels so good to sleep with you in my arms. You're so soft and precious. I love my treasure. I love my pet. <sighs> well, I wish you a good hibernation, my treasure. I'll see you in my dreams. <sighs> Hmm. You don't know how to hibernate. <laughs> That's to be expected, but it's not too complicated. It's like falling asleep, but you just fall deeper. You don't know how to fall asleep either. Have you really had insomnia all your life? I find that strange. I haven't ever noticed you having trouble sleeping. In fact, you sleep so peacefully when you're in my arms. I've stayed up some nights just listening to your delicate heartbeats and your adorable breathing. It's like my own personal lullaby. And all this time, I've never once heard you stray from your restful rhythm or toss and turn from restlessness. Not even when I readjust our position or whisper my adorations into your ear. Oh, pet. I think you just admitted that my presence helps you sleep better. Oh, no, no, no. You can't deny it now. You've just let the truth slip from your mouth. As much as you pretend to hate it here, you secretly enjoy how safe and loved you are when I cuddle you, don't you? Well then, since you enjoy it so much, your dragon mistress will teach you how to sleep. <sighs> okay, yeah. Relax and take long, deep breaths. That's the first step. You need to slow your breathing. Follow me. In. And out. In. And out. In. And out. There. That's better, isn't it? Your humans are so frantic. Even your heart beat so quickly. So anxiously. But now that you're with me, you don't have to worry about anything. So just tell your heart to relax. It doesn't need to work so hard all the time. It's allowed to rest. So, as you continue to breathe deeply, you can feel your heart start to slow down. It may be reluctant, but if you're persistent in your demands, it will listen to you. And as your heart starts to slow, you can feel your thoughts start to slow too. You don't have to worry or process or think. Just listen to my voice and feel my body enveloping you. You won't find a more perfect place to sleep. You have nothing to fear. I'll keep you safe. Nothing is going to interrupt your precious slumber with me wrapped around you like this. 
I'll devour your nightmares if they dare to make an appearance. So dismiss your anxieties and fall deeper into sleep. You can feel the comfortable warmth of our snuggle lulling you deeper and deeper into your sleep. Feel my claw pet your hair and my other claw hold you close. They treat you delicately, but you can sense the raw power behind them. That power is protecting you and caring for you. And it feels good, doesn't it? To know you have no need for anxieties anymore. No need for worries or plans or even thoughts. Let me think for you. And let me dream for you. I've seen so many fantastic places. And I'll show you my memories of them while we rest. I'll show you the towering mountains of Katamaru, the sparkling valley of Turun, the magnificent capital of Pisadian, and so much more. All you have to do is fall asleep, my treasure. Shut your eyes and let my voice become background noise. Feel your mind melt away as you fall into unconsciousness. You can barely hear me now as your brain starts to shut down all those pesky distracting thoughts and focuses on what it really needs. Sleep. Just give it what it needs. What your whole body needs. You have all the time in the world when you wake up, so there's no point in fighting it. Just give in to the slow, creeping relaxation. I love you, my treasure. Feeling you cling on to me as you relax and sleep makes me so happy. I don't really understand it, but I don't need to. All I need is for you to be sated and happy. That's a good bet. Sleep now, my treasure. Sleep. You're mine and mine forever. And so I will always care for you. I promise. Ah, you're mine. My treasure. My beloved pet. And worry not, my dear. If you happen to wake up during the hibernation, you can go and relax a bit with some of the devices I brought you. A focus of my preparations have been to make sure that you will have the best hibernation ever. I don't want your first time to be bad, right? So, on the device over there, you can go to my channel. The one I've told you about before. The one you've subscribed to, right? I don't want to have to keep reminding you. So, make sure you're subscribed. That way, if you wake up, you can watch some videos and get tired and fall asleep again. And if my content isn't for you, just make sure to be subscribed to this channel. But you remember all of that, surely. I mean, I've told you about my channel and this channel and the Patreon. It's all down in the description. It's quite easy to remember, so I don't doubt you have. I'm just double checking. Sleep well, my beloved. <laughs>